So sometimes we need categorical data or dummy variables. So these are important for coding information which can only be coded with uh, 0 or 1. For example, you want productivity for male and female. So then you have to code them. Similarly, we consider a specific example here. You consider productivity data for the same factory which uses three different technologies. So for example, these three technologies could be named T1, T2 and T3. So the first step to determine which of these three technologies is more effective than others or how they are different from each other is to fix the base technology. So you fix the base technology and you denote it by T1 and then you write your model like this. This alpha 1 is corresponding to T1, this alpha 2 is corresponding to technology 2 and this alpha 3 is corresponding to technology 3. And then you add two more variables here D2 and D3. So D2 you put it as 1 if you use technology 2, 0 otherwise and D3 you put it as 1 if you use technology 3 and 0 otherwise. So what does this mean? So say you have data and then you have say technology 2 and technology 3. So say you produce 500 units and you have used technology 1. So you will set this variable D2 as 0 and D3 also as 0. So alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 are coefficients which we will determine from the regression and this D2 and D3 are dummy variables which we put. So this 500 units are produced using technology 1. So your data set looks like this T2, T3, 500 units. So notice there is no T1 here because T1 is the base space which corresponds to alpha 1. There is nothing multiplied by alpha 1. So say you have another unit 494 units are produced using technology 2. You put 1 here and 0 here. So again you have a data set of say 600 units are produced using technology 3. You put 0 here, 1 here. Again you have 495 units produced using technology 1. You put 0 here, 0 here. So you build up your data set like this. So these are the production figures and then you do corresponding technology. Again notice there is no T1 here. So when you compute this alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3. So you will compute this alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 using regression. So this alpha 1 will capture the impact of technology 1. Alpha 1 plus alpha 2 will capture the impact of technology 2. So notice that if you are using technology 2 then D3 will be 0 because D3 is 1 only if you are using technology 3. So D3 will be 0 and D2 will be 1. So Y would be alpha 1 plus alpha 2 if you are using technology 2 and y would be alpha 1 plus alpha 3 if you are using technology 3. So alpha 1 is the impact of technology 1. This alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is impact of technology 2. Alpha 1 plus alpha 3 is impact of technology 3. So just this variable alpha 2 by itself captures by how much technology 2 differs from technology 1. So this alpha 2 once you find out should be significantly different from 0 for technology 2 to differ from technology 1. Similarly alpha 1 plus alpha 3 captures total impact of technology 3. So obviously if you are using technology 3 then this D3 is 1 but D2 is 0 because you are not using technology 2. D2 is 1 only when you use technology 2. So if you are using technology 3 this will be 0 so this reduces to alpha alpha 1 plus alpha 3. And this alpha 3 component right here this captures by how much technology 3 differs from technology 1. So if technology 3 differs from technology 1 then alpha 3 is not equal to 0 uh, statistically. So once you compute alpha 3 and compute its confidence interval, you should not find 0 in this confidence interval. So let us now run this on data. So I am first using rm list ls all true. This is nothing but to clear the history. So this is clear history in your R session. So now you read the table. We are renaming the table as prod. So read table, 
So this is the website address where the table is. And this last part is the file name. This is the file and till here is the website address. You put header as true. Then I'm just uh, making this a data frame. This prod, prod I'm going to make a data frame P1 out of it. And uh, I'm going to put column names as Y, T2, T3. So Y, T2, T3. So there are three technologies here. And now I'm going to display first four rows. So in the first four rows, you see T2 is one in all the four rows in row one, row two, row three and row four. These are the four rows. This is the data here. So the technology two is being used. So the entire data set codes, whether you, we are using technology two, technology three or technology one, as said before, if you are using technology one, then T2 will also be set to zero and T3 will also be set to zero. Obviously, if you're not using T2, it is zero. If you're not using T3, it is zero. But then obviously that means you're using technology one. Now let us run this in R and see what results we get. So this is the R command we run. So Y technology two, technology three. So obviously our model is Y is equal to alpha one plus alpha two D two plus alpha three D three. So the intercept is going to be the technology one component. So after we have the model, we will see its coefficients and the confidence interval corresponding to the model. So you see the alpha one is 140.79. So the model comes out to be this 140.7 plus alpha two is 41.94. So we'll put it as 41.9 D2 plus 11.1 D3. So step two is you check the confidence interval. So in this confidence interval, there is no zero. So you keep this value. In this confidence interval, again, there is no zero. From 12.5 to 71.2, there is no zero. Keep this value. In this confidence interval from minus 21 to 43, there is a zero. You're going from negative to positive, so there is a zero. So this is statistically equal to zero. So you drop this. So what does this mean now? So it means that technology one gives you 140.7. Technology two gives you 140.7 plus 41.9, which is significantly different from zero because there is no zero in this interval. So this is 2.5 percentile and this is 97.5 percentile. So technology two is significantly different and it is in fact better because you are adding a plus sign to it. And technology three is uh, 140.7 plus 11.1, .1, but this 11.1 .1 is equal to zero. So this is same as 140.7. So you can say that technology three is not statistically significant from technology one. So these two are statistically the same. So these two are technologically the same because this 11.1 .1 which you got, this is equal to zero statistically since zero lies in the confidence interval. So this is how you determine which technology is better or not. And instead of using regression, you can use a ANOVA table. But using ANOVA is the same as using regression with dummy variables.